Hi there, this is Alexis from Spider Gap. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can collect 360 degree feedback using Spider Gap. To begin, we're going to need to sign up or log in. I've already got an account, so I just need to log in. So, I've logged in and created a new assessment, which is just called My Team's 360 degree feedback assessment. I can take a look at the preview or customise the assessment using the designer. Once I'm ready, I click Next Collect Feedback, where I'm shown the steps that are involved in collecting 360 degree feedback. These involve choosing the employees to be assessed, choosing who's going to provide feedback about them, designing the emails that will go out, and then previewing those emails before sending them. So let's get started. I click Start Collecting Feedback. I need to identify who's going to be assessed by this 360 degree feedback assessment. In this example, I'm going to assess a colleague uh, called Claire. I enter her name and email address and click add employee. I can identify as many employees as I want to at this stage, but in this example, I'm just going to click next and identify who's going to provide feedback about Claire. So in the next step, I can now choose who's going to decide who gives feedback about each employee. Now I can either choose that the employee themselves, i.e. Claire in this example, will choose who's going to provide feedback about her, or I can choose that I'm going to provide feedback, and I'm going to select that option. So I can now see all of the employees that I identified, in this case just Claire, um, but I can click choose who will give feedback to then identify each of the individuals that is going to assess Claire. I'm going to start off with me as her line manager. I'm also going to select a couple of her peers and a couple of people that work for Claire. And finally a self-assessment. Once I've identified all the respondents, I click finish. I can then click next to design the email that is going to be sent. I can preview the email by clicking this button. Once I'm happy, I can click next to then preview each of the emails that will be sent before they go out. Once I'm happy, I just click send invitations. You can now see that all six invitations have been sent and they appear below. If I want to send reminders to those people, I can do so using this arrow. As soon as responses start being received, they'll appear in the view and share results area. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to try out SpiderGap, go to www.spidergap.com. Thanks very much.